How is everybody doing? Brian from AchievementHunter.com bringing you more achievements for Dante's Inferno. I know I've been busy with a lot of videos lately with all the Borderlands DLC stuff, but Borderlands is not the only game to come out with DLC with new achievements. Dante's Inferno is back, and if you purchase the Dark Forest pack for 400 Microsoft points, you'll get the Dark Forest add-on. And the two achievements we're going to be going for... <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Our clear path, not lost, and dark forest. As you saw there, you just go to the downloadable content feature. I picked the disco suit, as you saw there, because it comes with the DLC. And uh, why not? Dante in the disco suit's kind of sweet. All right, DLC starts off with this little kind of fight. I just bypass it because there's no need for that. So first, you want to just kill all the enemies. And the dark forest downloadable content is more of like a maze slash puzzle. That's kind of annoying if you don't know what to do. And the two achievements are for not getting lost and for simply completing it. So what I'm going to show you here is not to get lost. Now, every time you do this, it has um, the puzzles have something to do with light. So pretty much you're chasing this little bandit that looks like the Prince of Persia. And all the puzzles revolve around light. Now, all the lights each time you play are going to be in a different spot. But what you want to do is the same in everything. So for example, the light, this is the first challenge. The light is shining from the top and you want to go to the east so think of it as a clock that light was coming from 12 o'clock you want to go to 3 o'clock same thing here light is coming from the north so 12 o'clock you want to go to the door on the right another example right here this is still challenge one by the way the, the light is coming from the left also known as 9 o'clock you want to go 12 o'clock for this challenge you want to go clockwise of wherever the light is so once again, it's coming from 9 o'clock, go to 12 o'clock. Now this one looks like it's coming from in front of you, but it's coming from behind you. So this is coming from 6 o'clock. Clockwise, you want to go to 9 o'clock. Now here we are in Section 2. Section 2 is a little bit different. Once again, you got to clear out all the enemies. Oh, and you'll know that you're progr progressing to the right area if you enter another room that looks similar. And if you did it wrong, you'll go back to that little cheetah thing in the beginning. That you'll have to restart or else your achievement is already messed up alright so this is the second challenge here what you want to do is kill all the enemies hit the switch and wherever the light is coming from you want to point it to the west so pretty much counterclockwise so that light is coming from six o'clock you want to aim at three o'clock so first challenge is all clockwise the beginning of the second challenge where I just showed you you want to do counterclockwise and all these areas following that you pretty much just want to line up the um, the light so it makes a straight line. So simply put, wherever the light is pointing, turn the statue so it's facing um, the opposite direction so it makes one straight line. And these are a little bit simple, or more simple as you'll see. So I know this may seem a little confusing at first. This took me like three or four tries to get it down, but once you get it down it's very simple. I'll recap one more time at the end. I know it's very confusing with all the lights and like where you go, but the easiest way for me is to think of it as a clock. Just use the door all the way on the top is 12 o'clock, the door on the right is 3 o'clock, where the entrance you're coming from is 6 o'clock, and the door on the left is 9 o'clock. Trust me, it'll make things much easier. Alright, so this is the third challenge here, and I kind of mess up here, but you still get the achievement because technically you can't get lost. So first you gotta clear off enemies again, blah blah blah. So I look like John Travolta in my badass suit. Alright, now we got a wolf here. You're gonna take this statue and you wanna block the top entrance. Um, this is pretty crucial, or so I believe so. But um, I ended up putting it here and getting the achievement. I didn't put it anywhere else, so I'm not 100% sure. But for the sake of the achievement, put it on the top. So block the top entrance, then you wanna flip the switch. And you wanna wait till the ray of light points to the left. Now I make a mistake here, and you see the light, I wait for the light to, um, yeah, I have the light, I wait till the light points to the left, excuse me, you have to wait from the light, the ray of light is coming from the left, then you go through the left door, and you go back to the right, so one more time, wait till the ray of light is coming from the left, go through the left door immediately, you will come out of the right door, and you run right back to the right, really confusing, I know, it's like a tongue twister. I 
urge you to rewatch uh, all the video um rewatch earlier just so you can see exactly what I did cuz it works perfectly. Then after that little cutscene, you fight a whole bunch of monsters or enemies or whatever satanic creatures. You go through the topmost door and you get the two achievements. Clear path not lost, dark forest. Holy shit, this DLC is a lot more confusing than I thought. Still very easy. Achievementhunter.com. Good luck, everybody.